All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to break down an entire chuck roll. Got 25 pounds of it, let's get going. All right, welcome back to the Smoke and Plank. Today, like I said in the intro, we're gonna be cutting up this chuck roll. I've never done anything like this before and we're gonna give it a go. We'll get, start by getting it unwrapped and getting it dried off here. And I'm just using just regular paper towels just to get the blood and the meat juices off of it, I guess you can say. And I'm going around on the ends and scraping off some of the loose bits from when it was processed and just kind of making it look good and kind of want to see what I'm working with here also. I'm gonna start by trimming off a lot of the silver skin and a lot of the fat areas. There's not a lot of fat on this spot, but you can see some of the silver skin there and some of like the different things. Now, I'm gonna save all of these pieces. Every single piece of this chuck roll is going to get used in some form or way. I'll save this stuff here. I'll put it in my mix when I do tallow. It's not gonna get eaten, but it'll break down because like when I make tallow, it's kind of like a tallow broth mixture. Maybe I'll do an extended video on that. And you just kind of want to follow the seams of the meat. Like this is the very top end of the chuck roll. The chuck roll, this has like the chuck eye on one end and it has roast on the other. One side is connected to the neck and the other side is actually connected to where the uh, ribeye is. And I'm going through and separating this here. I'm trying to separate the Sierra stage. I've never even eaten any of these styles of meat, but we're gonna find out. Gotta trim some of this extra silver skin off just to see what I'm doing here. And like I said, just follow the seams and you should be okay. Now, this section here that I'm working on, you can see it has like some lines through it there. That's actually part of the Denver steak that I'm going to be cutting up here. And I lost a little bit of footage, but this is the chunk that I'm going to be cutting the Denver steaks from. Once I get all the silver skin removed, get it nice and cleaned up, we'll get it sliced up here. And you see my gigantic kitchen knife that I have, the Ridge Runner. I'll leave the video link in the description. I got that a while ago. One of the best purchases for a knife that I've ever made. Thing is awesome. And you can see there, I got some nice Denver steaks out of that. Now I'm gonna go back through and clean this Sierra up. The Sierra is very similar to a flank. It has kind of like the same grain style and grain pattern as a flank. And I might actually do like a stuffed flank or a giant roll up since this has the capabilities. It's nice and thick. I could stuff it. I could butterfly it and make a huge roll up. I don't know. We'll see here. Now, I am not a butcher by any sorts, but I did grow up on a farm and we butchered a lot of deer come hunting season. So I do have a little experience but it's nothing that would probably make me money. <laughs> now here I am cutting the chuck eyes. Basically they call these Delmonicos. And just trying to get them nice and cut. Usually you can get about three out of the end of the chuck roll. And yeah, get some of the silver skin pulled off. Yeah, they look really good. All right, now that I have this big chunk here, I'm gonna get this separated into uh, four roasts. And I can make some Mississippi pot roast, really anything with these. Throw them in a crock pot and just let them go. Now these two pieces of meat here, I actually kind of wish I did something a little different with the one I'm cleaning up right now. I kind of wish that I went through and cut a couple steaks out of the center, almost like a chateaubriand or a filet mignon and when I cut it up I'm probably gonna end up using it for stew meat and 
I'm going to cut this section here up and probably use it in one of my burger mixtures. I got a lot of brisket end pieces and things like that. I was thinking take some of this chuck and mix it with the burger and maybe produce some really good hamburger. All right, here it is, the beef shoulder breakdown. You can see this is from the beginning of the video, showing you what it looked like, and this is what I got. I got some roast, the Chuck Eye Delmonico's, Denver steaks, Sierra steaks, stew beef, and burger mix, and then that big bowl, that's going straight into the tallow. And you know what, like always, thanks for watching.